Hey what's up guys, Alone here. So I'm making a video today on Symmetra on King of the Hill. This is some gameplay footage in the background from when I was playing my last game on Oasis. And it did go pretty good. We won 3-0 but it was shaky at times. And overall I thought it was an interesting game as Symmetra. So I wanted to show this one. So overall I'm just going to be commentating and talking about what I'm thinking and all that. And why I'm doing the different things because I'm facing a dive comp. Which is very very common at higher SR. This is a 3800 SR game. And so dive is pretty much the bane of Symmetra. Like you get destroyed by dive. And there are ways to handle it. And it's very hard to do. And your team needs to be at least decent. Otherwise you just get destroyed. So overall in the first fight there what I tried to do was secure the left area. But we lost the team fight so it wasn't really going to do anything. But here um, these are pretty important dive turrets. I'm placing them on the pillars right here and all around the place. Because I'm expecting them to dive me in the back as well as with my Ana because she's standing behind me. So if they would dive there they would get destroyed by my turrets. And I was hoping that Genji would do it. And here I could have killed the Lucio but unfortunately the Mercy started pocketing him. And then also Genji comes from behind and kills me. So yeah, my turrets didn't do enough there unfortunately. But here I have my ultimate. And this is where it gets a bit more important what your role as Sumatra is. So I'm going into this room right here. Even though there's a team fight, I'm going away from the fight. And I'm going to be placing my teleporter. That's why I'm putting so many turrets up here. Because my teleporter is essentially a six man res or a tracer bomb soaker. That's usually what happens on this SR. Or overall just any SR if the tracer is decent. She will go down into this room really quickly and put her semtex on it. It's not called semtex, it's pulse bomb. And then she kills it and that's it. But then the tracer doesn't have her ultimate anymore which is good for me. But at the same time it's a good trade for the tracer I guess. But here you can see that even if I died I got a pick with my turrets. Because the soldier tried to get into that room and kill the TP. He couldn't, he died and therefore we get a pick. And then overall my team is just getting back all the time now because they can't really kill my TP, it's down there. So it doesn't even matter if we die now, it's not even that much of a problem because we can just teleport back instantly. That Genji is really good by the way, that's why I checked up his profile. Um, but yeah, you can see my Ana goes back through my TP, we have one more charge and at this time... It's pretty much a, because I think the Mercy rest two people, overall it's like a 8 versus 11 right now because I've used all my TP charges and therefore we're going to be winning this fight and that's why TP is so good to use like that. Now uh, after that we're trying to set up on the point and from this point on it's really really good to play Symmetra because even if they're playing dive it's really hard for them to actually push in on the, on the point. What they need to do is have the Winston jump first and for example have someone try to cover him. Meanwhile he kills the turrets and that's pretty hard to do actually without a diva. I don't think they play with a diva and that's why it's kind of interesting because if the Winston would have jumped in and got right clicked by the diva it would have been fine. But now they don't have a diva, and here I have my ultimate again. The reason why I'm placing it right here is because we had one player dead, and I just really wanted to get him back. I'm not sure if he did use the TP or if he missed it, I can't remember. But here also the Genji wastes his ult just to try kill my TP, and I had a bunch of turrets in there, so he just got destroyed instantly, and that was really good. Uh, here they used the res and that's why I was really really trying to kill the Winston because if I kill the Winston after the res he's not going to be in the team fight and not having the Winston in their team fight is really really bad for that team. So overall we still have 6 charges, okay 5 charges now on my TP and they're just trying to go for this TP. You can see how much they're trying to kill the TP and my team is actually smart. They're trying to defend it and they know that it's important but at the same time it doesn't really matter that much if they kill it as long as we get decent picks from it. You can see we're already at 70% on the capture point and they've spent like probably 50% of that time just trying to kill my TP and they finally killed it and now what? You know they have... A few people dead already just from killing the TP and overall their positioning is not that great. So I already have a TP soon again which just proves like it's not really worth it to kill the TP unless you won the team fight and then you go for the TP. So if you really just try to initiate the fight by killing the TP it's not very good. Because you will just have people die and then you will lose team fights because of it. Sumetra will have TP soon again anyways. And it's just a bad time for your team. You see I have TP now again and I'm going to be winning the round because I got the TP down, the Genji went for me and so he just wasted the time and didn't go on the point. 
Alright, so on the second point here, it's actually way better for Symmetra. I really like this point for Symmetra because it's really easy to just go on the point and put my turrets up before the team fight. You can see I'm doing that right now. And it's going to pay off. You will see that I will be getting kills from it. You can see that Lucia is running into all the turrets, not really expecting it. And there you go, he dies. And then also the Genji is trying to dash away from my turrets. Walks straight into me and dies. Now on this point, uh, and I also want to talk about uh, the teleporter and the shield generator when it comes to King of the Hill. I see a lot of Symmetras on lower elo or SR when I play on my alt accounts. They're like, hmm, you know, it's King of the Hill. I'm going to use the shield generator so we don't die as easy and we can keep the point for longer. Yeah, sure, you can do that if you don't face a good tracer or flanker overall like a Genji, Farah and all that. They can kill your TP or your shield generator in this case. Because if they can kill it, then there's no point of it having, you know, being up there. Because what people will do is they will flank the shield generator and especially on King of the Hill, it's not very easy to hide it anywhere. You can place it closer to your spawn, but that's very obvious or you have to place it very close to the point. So overall it's not very nice to use shield generator in my opinion because it usually just dies and has no effect and the only use it could have is for example soak up a ultimate from a tracer or anything like that. But now you will see what I will use my TP for on King of the Hill. Now I will have my ultimate very soon and I'm going to be backing off a bit just so I don't die. I see my tracer die and therefore I'm going to back off and try to be ready to use my TP. Now I know that the tracer is on me and I'm like okay wait. I can place my TP now because if I do that the tracer will just jump me and destroy it. Here I get a kill on Lucio for some reason and then right here I think I heard the tracer use his ultimate and that's when I place my TP. And now that I do have my TP up I'm just going to secure it with even more turrets and just try to defend it so it doesn't die. The enemy team doesn't really seem to be even going for it which is great for me I guess and here I just accidentally woke up the Winston which is was a big derp. And here I, tr I thought I was going to kill the Genji but I got the Lucio beat so unfortunately I couldn't win that fight. But then we still have the TP and I'm just securing the TP even more trying to win this team fight. but we only have two charges left of the TP and we're not going to be winning this team fight. spoiler alert we lost the point. Now these turrets are a bit interesting and I always do them on Oasis if we lose the point. I placed four turrets on this um, palm tree or whatever and that's because I will probably get my turrets back before the team fight, anyways. But it's because, again, just like on the first point, I place my turrets a bit in the back if they're diving us and they get surprised by all the turrets and just get de destroyed instantly by my turrets. And that's a good pick before the team fight. And you will see that it does not really, but kind of pay off. You will see why. You see the tracer walked straight into our backline and tried to kill our Ana and got hit by four turrets and almost died. Probably survived on like 1 HP or anything like that. But she did actually kill the Ana in the end anyways and I get a cheeky kill on the Genji. And here I'm just trying to set up on the point again as soon as I possibly can and meanwhile just trying to do damage with my left click. Now meanwhile you're doing team fights you know in uh, King of the Hill you want to try to get turrets up at the same time as to do damage. So I should probably put a turret now because I have two of them. I should have put turret down Anywhere that I could really but the Winston was on me so it was kind of annoying and I ended up dying and here I just placed my TP because it seems like we're winning the team fight and just getting any people back would be good just closer spawn overall and yes we did win the team fight and I think that's going to result in a win in just a bit and here I'm just placing my turrets again just to secure the point even further that was kind of scary I could have died actually from the McCree if he headshot me and overall now that we have many turrets up a teleporter in the back which is just very close spawn we're for sure going to win this round and uh, yeah that's going to be a 2-0 and actually Tracer dies so quickly from the Symmetra beam if you have it high charged so if you have a really high charged beam you can just touch the Tracer for a second and she dies which is really nice. So for the third part of the map we have the jump pad area map or whatever it's called I'm not really sure and it's very hard for me to play Symmetra on this map to a certain degree. If they have a Pharah it's really hard. If they don't have a Pharah, it's not that bad actually and they have a McCree and that really surprised me because having a McCree on this map can be strong if you can get the high ground easily because the high ground is so strong on this map but the thing is if we have a Symmetra I can just secure the high ground and that's what I'm going to be trying to do the entire game and you will see a pattern of me trying to go up in the bungee jump thing or the jump pad thing whatever it's called and just try to put a bunch of turrets in there. It's not because I want to get like 10 frags instantly. They all go into the bungee jump thing and they all get roasted and die. No, that's not really why. The reason why I'm placing all my turrets up here, you will see right now, 
is because I want to secure this area. As they have a McCree, I never want that McCree to be on high ground. If he goes high ground, he can just destroy us. We don't really have anything to contest with. Sure, our Winston can jump him, but then again, the McCree can just roll off and be fine. You know, every time we jump him. I just don't want him to be on high ground. We should destroy this team if they all sit low ground all the time. And that's why I'm just trying to get my turrets up there so he's scared of going up there. So you know when I said in the last clip that you almost always want to use teleporter? This is the point where you want to use the shield generator and that's why this clip is so great I think for showing Symmetra and when you need to use the different things. Now that I al almost have my ultimate you can see that it's already almost 80% on the point and we just can't push through. So all I'm trying to do here is get a pick and the tracer is going for the TP or the shield generator and I used my shield right there because I thought she would blink in to try put the uh, ultimate on it and you know my shield can block the ultimate which is pretty good but she didn't and she just died to the turrets and we get a pick and I still have my shield generator up so the shield generator is to get a pick on king of the hill and then also with that have the extra health and going in with that just makes it so much of a you know one-sided fight you have like two more people with a 475 HP bonus that you get overall in the team and then you get a pick already so it's like yeah you're probably going to win this team fight and you know there also we soaked up the tracer ultimate which is just so good and by the way the reason why I'm not in the team fight here is because I'm trying to get picks so I can distract the enemy team and there we go I got the Lucio and then it doesn't really matter that I die here because I'm distracting the McCree because if you think about it they only have like three people on the point at that point Meanwhile, I'm killing the Lucio and distracting the McCree, so in the end we got the point. Now I'm going back here to the bungee jump thing again, and I'm placing my turrets up here again, just to secure the high ground so the McCree won't go up here. They have a Tracer now as well, I think they're going triple DPS, Genji, Tracer, McCree, and um, you know, that's fine. The Tracer will just get destroyed instantly if she go into the bungee jump thing now. It's, uh, I think, th 6 turrets is 150 DPS, so she will die instantly, she will die in 1 second. And from this point, they cannot go high ground, they have a McCree, they need to go low ground, and I have my shield generator slash TP soon again. So we're doing pretty good, and we already have 50%. Um, I mean, the McCree will never really be able to high noon, because sure, he can high noon from low ground, he can stand on the ground and do it. But we're playing Tracer, Diva, Winston... It's not going to happen. He needs to flank us with a high noon and he cannot do that because I've secured the high ground And that's why Symmetra is pretty good on this map actually You can just um, not make them able to to go there which is really strong You can see that my Winston is sitting up on the high ground and here I think I heard someone flanking and that's why I'm shooting right there And I'm just backing off making sure that I don't get one shot So you can see the soldier that they swapped to try to go high ground and what's happened to him? He got destroyed by my turrets. So we got a free peek right there I think I die here, maybe, yeah, I do, to the Tracer. But overall, this team fight is looking very good for us. They use the rest, but we have a bunch of people alive. And I soon have my TP, you could say. I'm probably going to try and get it here, and I'm doing a lot of damage. And there we go, that's like all of them dead. And I'm going to place my TP and we win the game. So, it's actually not bad playing Symmetra on this map, as long as they don't have Farah. If they have a Farah, it's big struggles, like, to be real. Uh, they just go in with a mercy and just destroy all the turrets instantly the high ground doesn't matter anymore And that's why you're strong as Symmetra on that specific part of the map But overall this was a pretty good game for me on Symmetra and I hope it was helpful to you guys You know it, this works the same on all of the king of the hill You just need to find that area you want to secure if it's on a map that has high ground Then make sure you secure that high ground if you're facing players that play hit scans or anything like that that benefit from high ground and yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care, subscribe, and like, and all that. You, you know the drill, guys. See ya.